I've got, do we have a, uh, a, a slide honoring uh, Betsy O'Donnell? There, right here. There she is. Betsy, right come up. Teaching is not a job, it is a vocation. Teaching challenges you not only to not only see your students as young minds, but as complete human beings. And she's done exactly that for so many years at Jean Ribault High School. She has brought out the very best in her students when there were few positive headlines on Jacksonville's public education program. She has been a spirited participant in the council's education programs. She was in the council's first teacher travel offering to Turkey in 2012 may not want to be going to Turkey this year, but <laughs> as the enthusiastic world traveler she is, I know her suitcases will soon be packed again for a new adventure. So uh, we've got a little gift for you, Betsy. Here's a certificate, and here's a book you can fill with all the adventures that you'll occur. Thank you so much. Doug Brown. Uh, Doug, you may recognize as one of the year's finalists for the Duval County Public Schools Teacher of the Year Award. Uh, it's easy to see why he was chosen. He is encouraging, honest, and hardworking, service above self. A long time and avid Rotarian, Doug truly lives by this rule, leads by example. He has enriched so many students' lives by urging them to not only learn about global and local issues, but to actively engage with the world around them. If you have ever attended Academic World Quest, you know how loudly those Fletcher students cheered in appreciation whenever Doug's name was mentioned. Is Doug here tonight? No. No. He's not here tonight. Okay, well, we have the same honor for him. Let's hear, have a round of applause for Doug. Again, thanks to all the teachers who participate with the World Affairs Council in educating our youth. Uh, I think we have some here. Well, the professors and teachers, the, the college professors who also assist us, engaged in the Great Decisions Program, please stand. Thank you all so much. Um, we also have another education initiative, and it's the Ambassador Marilyn McAfee Scholarship. Uh, beginning this year, uh, the scholarship program now provides two annual awards in support of area students traveling abroad. We had such wonderful applicants for the scholarship that we decided to give two of them instead of just one. That's kind of nice to be able to do that. $2,000 was presented to Abby Bernay, a student at the University of North Florida, pursuing her undergraduate degree in international studies, currently studying in South Korea. So uh, I don't think Abby's here tonight. I think she's in South Korea. And then $1,000 was awarded to Alicia Castle, a coastal environmental science major at Flagler College, and she will be part of an intensive research program on coral reef ecology in Bonaire. Let's see, South Korea or Bonaire? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is Alicia here tonight? No. She's not here. Let's hear it for both of those wonderful people. 